Hey guys, it's Pixel Plume. Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver, episode 42. I, I decided not to take a break. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm still sick. Oh, but man, I can't help it. I can't help it. I We're in Kanto. This is exciting. This is stuff I want to do. <laughs> we run a ship here. That's what we did last time. And Pili, we didn't get to see you at all last time. And he's just staring at the sea. So, <clears throat> like I said, we're not going to take on any gyms right now. I just really want to explore Kanto. Just refresh my brain and just do all the things that I love to do. So, let's see what we got over here. We got a couple of trainers. That's probably what we're the, the most prominent theme of Johto Honest. Kanto Honest is just. It's mostly gonna be about the routes. Not so much. Not much plot. Thinking about it, but. Shout out to this new music. I, I'm not too sure about this music myself. I think it's just alright, personally. Not my favorite, but. <clears throat> still, new battle themes keep things fresh, even though the Jonah one was pretty solid. Get out of here. And then a Cherubi, a little cherry thing. Cherry pie. I want a Cherubi. They're so cute and delicious looking. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, this is. But who is Rena? Who? I don't remember. We are going to battle. N no, we're not. Uh, that's so inconvenient to fly out there. I swear to God, that's not a great battle spot. But speaking of flying, you know things are. You know, before in the older games, you couldn't actually really do much. You had to fly over here, Victory Road. You still do. And then, but if you go to Victory Road, you can fly actually both areas, both Jodo and Kanto. So that's always convenient if you want to do things right now. Right now, we've only been to Vermilion, so we can only fly there, but... <clears throat> I really want to try to get to as many cities as I can today, just so we have areas to just visit and so I can faff around when not recording, <laughs> basically. Who names her Kid Day? I'm just saying. Who who names her Kid Day? I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm using the right map. Day and Danny. Day Danny. Leilani? Something like that, but... Uh, what up, ladies? What do you got? <gasps> Plus one mining! Ah! Also, I'm not gonna explore the grass because, honestly, there's nothing really in the grass to show. I'm doing a great job of selling jo a Kanto, by the way. Like, I'm so I'm excited for a nostalgia point of view because I always love coming here. It's all, it just always feels so fun just to go to an area that you've never been in a slightly di different direction. And honestly, that's. I'm always super excited about that. It's something I love to do. I don't know. It, it, is, it is what it is. I love to explore. It's in my blood. It's in my nature. I love maps. These girls are screaming. <laughs> they heard about what happened to Megan Peg. Actually, what happened to Megan Peg, by the way? I'm just saying. Those little girls on that ship. You know, your name is Peg. It's set up for disaster, especially if you're traveling with your daddy. Oh, man. Virgil. Uh, try to cure me of my sins right now. <laughs> Empty Lee, go. Go do your thing. Oh, man. This route. Yeah, you'll notice a lot of the routes. <clears throat> I guess it's the same thing in the older games, but... I guess because you have weaker Pokemon, it feels longer. But these routes are pretty, pretty dang short, honestly. Not a lot to them. So, it is what it is. I'm curious how a Kanto to Johto kind of experience would be. I know people try to do that, but... I don't know. I'm genuinely curious how it would work out because, and at the same time, I don't know if I would get the that game myself because I've already played the beginning of Kanto and it's not that particularly interesting. Oh geez. So we're here in Saffron anyways, and yeah, like I said, if they made a remake, if you're in Jota, Kanto, and then Jota's your post game, I, I don't know if I would necessarily enjoy that either. So I think Kanto's done its thing, it's done its course. Four, four separate games, I think, is plenty. So I don't, I don't want to see a remake of Fire Red Leaf Green. Is what I'm saying. It, it, it's not, it's not my preferred thing. So if they do it, cool. But they'd have to do something like out of the park if they want to do that. I'm just, I, that's all I'm saying. And also, speaking of remakes, I'm not too sure if I want a Diamond Pearl remake just yet. I'm, I'm, because the whole point of the remakes is that you can. These are for games that you can no longer play on the current like system. You can still play Diamond and Pearl on the 3DS, which is the current system. So to me, it seems a little bit weird that people still want remakes, remakes, remakes. I want something new. That's what I'm looking for in a Pokemon game. So if you do a remake, do it right. Like this game did a fantastic job and I genuinely loved it. <clears throat> Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I liked it at the time. It's an all right game, but um, 
I don't know. It, 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 there's a lot of things that I feel like that the Gen 6 mechanics and the feature gimmicks that they're trying to bring from that generation held it back a little bit. But I do, I still clocked a lot of time into it. I enjoyed it. I've only done one playthrough of it though, so I don't know if I would necessarily enjoy going for the second time around. I think the first time enjoyment was because it's all the nostalgia's sake. I know I'm not talking too much about the game cook, but there's not really much to say right now. We're in, we're in Saffron City. It looks like Legos. We got the TM Psychic. That's always good. I'll definitely teach that to Mudona. I could teach it to Honchkrow, but why would I do that? It's not my thing. <gasps> Picture for memory. There we go. That was not a delay. That was just me being a delay. Like a doof. It's just, that's just my way of talking. You know, things are happening about a minute. <clears throat> we're at Silfco. This place might be familiar. Oh boy, this was hell. Hell back in here, and now it's just nothing. There's nothing to this place. The elevator is out of order right now. Oh dear. We got an upgrade! Hooray! At least, at least they have something, but this place has changed. The reception, you know if you're in a reception office, I feel like this is a weird spot to have your reception desk. I feel like at the front would be better, but they just really want to have this front centerpiece. You know, that they, they made Pokeballs, they also made the Poke Gear. They're, they're proud of it. They're proud of what they do in the city. And also the song, probably my least favorite in Kanto, honestly, because you hear it so much, especially in Gen 2. It, it, it got on my nerves, but it's a cute, it's a cute song. I like it. This is the house of the copycat girl. She's so good at being a copycat the way people talk that it'll confuse you when you talk to her. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Going to Ally for his first time has sort of made me anxious. I wonder what this would look like in real life if he's getting nervous. This, okay. The streets are paved with gold. The houses are gold. What is intimidating about this alley? I see, this house is pink. I know, but these are just such bright colors. What is there to be scared of? I don't understand this. Boy, get your act together. You know, like these people, they're a little bit old and scary, but you know, they think their daughter's a freak. That, that's nice. Now they got Blissey though, that's friendly. Hello, there's nothing scary about the alleyway at all. Hello. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking? But that's my main hobby! I always wondered, as a kid, which line was- which, what part was me speaking, and what part was her speaking. But thinking about it, you know, we never actually speak, and we never will speak, because we're the protagonists. What I'm saying right now is what I'm saying, but in the game, it's a bait Aw, it's- she never had a bayonet before, that's cute, I like that. I think it was like a Furo before, but I guess bayonet works better since it has actually like a doll like Pokemon. But um, like I'm saying, so that's all copycat talking in the game, if you, in case you were wondering. That's my interpretation of it. Because you don't speak, so she's just saying all the lines that you're trying to say. And, you know, she says that you quit mimicking me, that's what we were thinking. And that's what she responded to as copycat, so. That's my interpretation of it. A little bit in-depth for that. This is a problem! The machine at the power plant is broken, so we're not receiving electricity. I don't know how long it'll be until we get the magnet train rolling. Let me just put this in a situation, because, like, there was, there was, like, little to no gap from the last episode of recording this, and I got the phone call from the same person. Like, oh my god, I, I understand. I, 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 I love yogurt. I love yogurt, but... I don't know if I need to get a phone call about yogurt right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, but uh, shout out to Kay Lumsey. Yeah, I'm sure Kay Lumsey would love yogurt if he was still alive, but... Our, our Kay Lumsey's alive. Alive and well. Tropius, he's alive. But the other, the canon Kay Lumsey from DK64, he's a goner, I'm sorry. It's an old game. I have ruined it. It's a super modern rail line that uses electricity and magnets to attain incredible speeds. However, there isn't any electricity, it's just an iron box. Huh. I'm learning! Teach me more! Teach me more, Saffronillions. Nils? Before the magnet train station was built, there was a house here. A little girl who was called Cabby Cat used to live here. You know, I never remember where Cabby Cat's house was in the original, and every time I play this game, I was like, was Cabby Cat's house here? I really don't remember at all. Our city was featured on our radio show. It's nice to hear praise for your city, it's a little embarrassing too. So we don't have access to the radio right now because we're in Kanto, and I guess radios don't work here, but it is what it is. Do you feel good in here, Epi Lee? This is a total fighting dojo for you. <gasps> he 
He took the opportunity to show how strong he was. That's so cool. What up? <clears throat> Hello! We are letting the gym leaders use a dojo while the Karate King is away. You can give them a call when you register the numbers. They say they're happy to accept your challenge as long as they're not busy. Good to know. So hopefully we'll run into them. Into the struggle for vengeance. And what's this one? A complicated fracture. That just, that just sounds awful. Awful. Like my voice right now because I'm sick. Oh boy. But uh, everyone's welcome to Fighting Dojo. So these are the stories of the two gyms. Sabrina's still running it. Oh, Sabrina. When we get to the gym battles, I'm going to rant a little bit about Sabrina. But let me just tell you, not, um, her design, not my favorite in this game. Not my favorite at all. The manager, ooh. Everyone's just obsessed with this power plant. It's like the main topic discussion. It's probably the main plot of Kanto. A little bit like basic, but it is what it is. Like, there's not much to it if there's no villains running around. And so their plight is electricity's gone, which is a fair plight to have, I gotta say. But, uh, if we go this way, we go to my favorite city. But, uh, the underground, it won't open. It's locked. I want to go the underground path. They won't let me. Uncouth trainers have a fully battled the underground path. Because of rising complaints to the local residents, the underground path has been sealed indefinitely. What? No! I love this path. How could you do this to me? Anyways, in here you can actually catch Murkrow's and stuff like that. Murkrow and Houndgear, I think. You can catch during the night. And you got Meowth running around here, like little, little, little dumb dumb. But, uh, also shout out to this Kanto battle music. Pretty solid stuff. You like that? <clears throat> I don't know if I like it particularly better than the Jota one, but I think it's okay. I, I, I feel like I'm giving a hard time to Kanto even though I'm genuinely excited. Maybe because I generally like it more, I'm willing to give it more critique. I guess that's the thing. If you're more aware of a certain thing, you can say more than that. It's just, it's just nice. You can go in depth about how you feel about things, and I feel like that's the experience that that is different from a blind let's play. That you're able to give insight to things you know and love and hate about certain games, and I think that's pretty, pretty all right. Your experiences from things. We're in Celadon City. That was rather fast. You're jumping from one stage to the next. Oh man, can we get an E here? Probably not, but we got an E before. And this place is all about recycling. Recycling. Oh man. The city tour continues. You can't actually enter the back here anymore. They did they did away with it, I think, yeah. So the condominiums, it's it used to be called the mansion. But fun fact, the mansion is just actually a term in Japan which they use to refer to um <clears throat> Uh, condominium. So macho is condos in Japan. So there you go. Polyrath, you're never gonna become a Polito. Sorry, it's not in your blood. But uh, tell the condominiums can you have by taking the elevator on the second floor. Huh. So the department store's over there. I may save that for another episode. But uh, more picture time. I'm just all about the pictures right now. I just want to really go. To a lot of the cities. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna explore Saladon quite yet. Maybe. In the next episode, I, I don't know. I could always explore Solid on now. I, I don't see the harm in it, but I really wanted to get so early, and I'm just so excited. Let's see what's over here. This run has changed significantly. It looks a lot more different than it used to. You know, you didn't go down this way, but we're not going down there right now. Just to show you guys just more stuff. There's a cut tree there, too. Shout out to Cut being back in this godforsaken city. I love it, but damn. I hate cuts. It's not fun. Not a good TM to use constantly. I want to go to an eating contest. What's this restaurant? Let me let me add it. I want to chomp things down. <clears throat> Please don't talk to me. Food is coming out of my mouth. Ugh, nasty. Huff, huff, huff. When it comes to eating contests, I'm quite confident. I think about that. But I can't handle hot food. If I can hurry eating my mouth, hot, hot, hot. Hi, we're holding econ Edathon contest. We can't serve you right now, sorry. Oh man, this looks like a- oh my gosh. You mean a lot. Hello, Maylene! That's the gym leader from the Veilstone in Diamond Pearl Platinum. She loves to eat. She's Ileana. She's Effie. You know, she eats like a Hepowdon. Oh man, look at all those bowls. You guys need to step it up with your water. Or is that sake? I don't know, but uh... Are those a speed eating contest? No, you gotta eat as much as you can. Crunch, crunch. I keep eating more, chef. Oh, you love that. You love when the ladies winning. The, shout outs to the ladies. My ladies doing a good job right now. Oh, yeah. 
So we got all these beautiful lights over here. And they're gonna be nicely lit when it comes to nighttime and stuff like that. But uh, we're playing during the daytime, and I usually play during the daytime. Because that's when you get to get the most authentic feeling, I guess. Um, I guess we can go to condominium, why not? I'm probably not going to the apartment store just because there's probably not a lot to see. But I, I, I really don't like the layout of this. It, it was just so much more easier in the older games, and now they just they just made it more convoluted, you know. So I guess we're gonna go up here to Game Freak. Let's let's do this. We're going up, up, up the elevator, yeah. Line, line, loot. This is just for Game Freak. So every place has to have Game Freak. Oh, hello. Hi, Pixel! It's Lyra. We haven't seen you in a while, my dear. Guess what? The sound designer over there has shown me something cool. It's a high-tech retro machine that lets you listen to music from the Game Boy. He said he'll give it to anyone who has collected all the Kanto badges. Why don't you go for a Pixel? See ya! Maybe we do need to get the Kanto badges a bit quicker. No, I'm kidding. I'm sticking to my guns, but... <clears throat> you get a device which makes everything sound quote-unquote 8-bit. It's not the same music. But it is 8-bit renditions, and there are certain songs which aren't in the older games that you get to hear in 8-bit, which I think is really cool. I love, I love that. <clears throat> I love that aspect. Uh, he's a programmer. These are all the tech developer dudes. Hello, little boy. Are you the sound designer? He is. Aw, oh, yeah. Give it to me. What are you? The graphic designer. A skilled dot artist. Well, we don't have the poke. We don't have the Pokedex. We can't do dot art. I feel like Pokedex is tough, but don't give up. You can do it. Uh, I'm probably not for this playthrough, but, you know. What do you think? I am the president here. We are making an old game, but it's quite challenging. Old fans are not mess, mess with the good memories. But there's no point in just redoing the same thing, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We are working towards something that brings back more memories, yet it's also completely new. I've been in this business for 20 years now, but creating a game is always a rewarding challenge. Aw, oh, this, this guy knows what he's talking about. I'm a planner. I come up with great things. The place you're standing here is no exception. So this elevator to the roof, stuff like that, yada yada yada. Yeah, having two elevators, I'm sure in a design aspect makes sense, but then the game aspect is just annoying. I, I don't know, I, I just, and especially an elevator that goes between floors, that's just really weird to me, I don't know. I, I, I don't get it, but what's up here? We just soar up in the sky. High places, I do love them so. I say the only thing that loves heights as much as me is smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke. That house over there, that's accessed through the other elevator. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now because you you need to do that during the nighttime. But that's just for you guys to know. If I do decide to set the clock to nighttime, I'll do all that stuff. But not a particular priority right now. I forget what it gives you if it's anything good or not. I need. I know it used to be curse in the older games, but uh, now I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh. I think we're done selling so, uh, for now. We're gonna go off to one more town. One more town, like I said. I'm trying to get as much jam packed. This is the this is the Pixel Plume Town Tour featuring Meg and Peg from the Kirby anime. Oh my god. I, I just need to let Meg and Peg go. Are they gonna be the running joke of Kanto? I certainly hope not. Certainly the running joke of today, but <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, there we are. Cerulean City, we up here. Oh man, I love I love this song. This was not in the remake. I mean, this is not in the original. But um, this is all the stuff that happens. This is this is a new song, and I love this jam. It's so good. And they started selling at the win. But no one comes to the shop anymore because of that. All I have left is a bicycle pump. Should I start selling label tubes? Oh, this guy used to start sell for a million bucks, and now Karma is biting him in the butt because he only has an inflatable tube. So. You know what? Inflatable tubes might not be so bad to open up in Cerulean, thinking about it. You got a nice swimming hole over here. Do you know this? I love Cerulean City. This city is so beautiful in this game. This shady guy just asked me now how to get to the power plant. All I said it must was must be kept confidential. What does that mean? It means confidential, my dude. I know I said I wouldn't go to the gym, but hey, this gym's right here. And look at this, it's such a nice pool area. And nobody's here. And can I just jump in and go for a dip? Hi ya! No. We can go swimming though. You like that? No, I'm mad. I just, I just love Cerulean City. The surf. Look at that. I'm a, I'm a lean, mean swimming machine doing laps in the pool. Laps, baby. 
But, uh, yeah, that's a Cerulean City. I think I... Ah, uh, so, look at this. I'm just indulging myself in all the nostalgia right now, and... I don't know, it's always nice. It's always nice. This area's the same. Probably not gonna do that. But, uh, we got to explore a lot of the cities right now. Is this guy gonna give us another jinx? What do you got? <laughs> okay, well... He really didn't say much, but, uh... Yeah, oh man, I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. <gasps> it's the Nugget Bridge, it's the Nugget Bridge. Look at how fancy and golden it is, but I think that's gonna be it for today. That's gonna be it for today. Um, in the next episode, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I just wanted to get these cities things down. We'll see what I decide to do. I'll probably, I'll probably go to the power plant next, so. People are talking about it, I wanna see what's going on over there. But until then, it's been Pixel Plume, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy all the fat fish catches full of it. Until then, bye bye.